Body armor is designed to protect the wearer against specified threat levels. When a bullet strikes the armor, it is caught in a web of very strong fibers, which absorb and disperse the energy of the impact, spreading it over a wide area. The energy is transferred to the vest from the bullet, causing it to deform and mushroom. Each successive layer of material in the vest continues to absorb energy until the bullet is stopped. Because the impact is dispersed over a wide area, the forces that cause non-penetrating or blunt trauma injuries are also reduced. Because of this, body armor has proven to be a lifesaver in vehicle accidents as well as shooting incidents. Personal body armor is produced by over 90 manufacturers worldwide. It's constructed using one or more of several special man-made fibers layered to create ballistic fabric panels. These panels are assembled in various ways by different manufacturers based on design concepts for maximum protection with minimum weight. To help you choose the best armor for your agencies and personal needs, standards were developed for the National Institute of Justice, NIJ. OLIS has developed performance standards which specify the level of threat that body armor must withstand in order to meet any of six classifications. Since its introduction in 1972, this voluntary standard has been regularly revised to take into account such issues as armor's resistance to blunt trauma, effectiveness when wet, protection from angle shots and multi-shot assaults, as well as advances in body armor technology. The latest O4 revision specifies tests using the various weapons and ammunition which are increasingly being seen on the streets today. Details of the standard and additional information to assist you in selecting body armor are contained in the NIJ's Selection and Application Guide to Police Body Armor. The testing program is administered by Anletsi and tests are performed by independent laboratories. A series of pre- and post-test checks and balances assures the integrity of the lab results. Laboratory testing is performed by firing various ammunition into armor mounted over clay backing material of controlled consistency. A chronograph confirms the bullet's velocity is within the range required by the standard. The standard specifies a maximum deformation to the clay backing of 44 millimeters to ensure protection from a non-penetrating injury. To help you choose the best armor for your needs, the National Institute of Justice has developed and regularly revises performance standards. So look for the NIJ compliance label on your armor. Technology saves lives. Wear your armor.